everyone this is a session on general aptitude let's start with the today's session first question in a class of 70 students 20 percentage of girls have spectacles and 40 percentage of the boys have spectacles if the total number of students having spectacles is 23 the number of boys in the class is so we have to find the number of boys in the class it is said that there are total 70 number of students is 70 okay so we know that the total students is 70 let the number of boys in the class be x so what would be the number of girls in the class number of girls would be 70 minus x okay now 40 percentage of the boys wear spectacles. Okay, there are X number of boys out of which 40 percentage of the boys wear spectacles. That is 40 percentage of X. That is 40, X into 40 by 100. This is the number of boys who are wearing spectacles. And out of 70 minus X girls, 20 percentage of the girls are wearing spectacles. That is 70 minus X of a 20 percentage of 70 minus x that is 70 minus x into 20 by 100 this is this are this is the number of girls who are wearing spectacles in the class and it is also said that the total number of students who are wearing spectacles is 23 that is boys plus girls those who are wearing spectacles the total number is 23 okay now this is the equation now we'll solve this equation to find x that is this can be written as 4x by 10. Now here it is 70 into 2 by 10 minus 2x by 10. This is equal to 23. Here we can cancel out this 0. Therefore 4x by 10 minus 2x by 10. That is 4x minus 2x that is 2x by 10 plus 7 into 2 14 equal to 23. Now this becomes 5x by 5. x by 5 is equal to 23 minus 14 or x by 5 equal to 9. Then what is x? x equal to 9 into 5 which is 45. This is the number of boys in the class. So the final answer is A. Option A 45. The population of a town is increasing at a uniform rate. If its population was 90,000 and 96,000 in 2022 and 23 respectively, what would be the population in 2024? So, in the population in 2022 and 23 are given, we have to find the population in 2024. So, what is the population in 22? 90,000. In 2023, it was 96,000. Now, we will find the population in 2024. This population is to be found. Okay, first it is said that the population is increasing at a uniform rate. So, what is the percentage increase in population from 22 to 23? That is percentage increase in population. That is final population minus initial population divided by initial. That is 96,000 minus 90,000 divided by initial. That is 90,000 into 100 this is the percentage increase that is 6000 divided by 90000 into 100 this three zero got cancelled this will be 600 by this zero again got cancelled 60 by 9 or this is 20 by 3 percentage this is the percentage increase so, the percentage increase in population from 22 to 23, that is 20 by 3 percentage increase. So, again in 23 to 24, the percentage increase will be 20 by 3 percentage. Okay, now we will find 20 by 3 percentage of this population. Okay, that is 20 by 3 
percentage of 96,000. This will be 20 by 3 percentage. Percentage is divided by 100 of 96,000. This is 20 by 300 into 96,000. The 0 got cancelled. Now this 3 got cancelled. 3 3s are 9. 3 2s are 6. That is 64 0 0. This is the increase in population. So, the what is the population in 2024? 20, in 2024, 20, the population will be this 96,000 plus this much increase. 96,000 plus 6,400 and that will be equal to 102400. Option B is the correct answer. A ball of molding clay whose radius is A is remolded into a cube. What is the approximate length of sides of the largest cube that can be so made? There is a ball that is a sphere of radius A and it is remolded into a cube. This is a cube. Let's take the length of the side of the cube as R. So here we have to find the length of the side that is r so what is the concept here that is when one shape is molded into another shape its volume remains the same that is the concept used here so what is first we will write the volume of sphere volume of sphere is what is the formula for volume of sphere 4 by 3 pi a cube a is the radius of the sphere now volume of cube is that is with the length of side is r, the volume will be r cube. Now we will equate these two. Since the volume is same, r cube equal to 4 by 3 pi a cube. Now we have to find r. r will be cube root of 4 by 3 pi a cube. So cube root of a cube is a. That is a into cube root of 4 by 3 into pi. Pi is 22 by 7. Or that is equal to a into cube root of 4 into 22 divided by 21. Now we will take the approximate value that is a into cube root of 4 into 22 by 21 that is 1.0 something. Therefore we can write take it as approximately 1. That is a into cube root of 4. This is the answer. So from the option we will check. Uh, it is given that 2a. 2a is one option. So what is 2 cube? 2 cube is 8. Okay. 2 cube is 8. So this is not the correct option. Now we will check 1.6a. What is 1.6 cube? That is 1.6 into 1.6 into 1.6. Is it 4? Okay. We will get something as 4.0. 96. If we multiply this, we get 4.09. That is approximately equal to 4. That is A into 1.6. This is the answer. So, option C is the correct answer. A bird keeps flying continuously between two trains that are following each other on a straight track. The train behind is slower than one ahead by 1.5 km per hour. If the speed of the bird is 20 km per hour, what distance would the bird cover in an hour? There are two trains given. This is train 1. This is train 2. Train two. And it is said that this train is behind a... Uh, the other train by 1.5 km per hour. It is slower than the other train by 1.5 km per hour. And it is also said that there is a bird flying between these two trains. That is from first in this direction. Then it is coming back, back to this direction. That is that it, it is continuously flying. Okay. And the speed of the bird is also given as 20 km per hour. This is the speed of the bird. And we have to find the distance the bird would cover in an hour. That is, speed of the bird is 20 km per hour. And the time is given as 1 hour. Okay. 
we have to find the distance travelled by the bird in one hour. That is, we know that distance equal to speed into time. Okay. Here, the speed is 20, time is one hour. That is 20 into one, which is 20 kilometer. This is the distance that the bird cover in an hour. So, in this question, the speed, the train and its speed, this is of no use. There is no need of the speed and this train, all these. Only we have to know the speed of the bird, speed of the train, uh, speed of the bird, the time taken and we can find the distance as speed into time that is 20 kilometer per hour, uh, 20 kilometer that is option A. Uh, this was the homework question given to you in the previous session. In a field there are some cows and ducks. If the number of heads are 33 and number of legs are 84, then what would be the ratio of cows to ducks? So here the correct answer is 3 by 8. Now we will solve this problem. So, first we will uh, consider the number of cows as x and number of ducks as y and the number of heads are given as 33 that is uh, one cow will have one head and duck will each duck will have one head. So, x plus y will be total 33. This is the heads of uh, x cow will have x head and y ducks will have y head. So, the total number of heads will be 33 and number of legs is given as 84. Okay, now uh, cows has 4 legs. Okay, each cow will have 4 legs and each duck will have 2 legs. Therefore, 4x plus 2y will be equal to 84. Now, we will solve these two equations to get the value of x and y. So, in this second equation, first we will simplify this by dividing by 2. So, the second equation becomes 2x plus y equal to uh, 42. Okay. Now, 3 minus 1. That is 2x plus y equal to 42 and x plus y equal to 33. Now, when we subtract this, we get what happens? This is minus minus 2x minus x is x. Y minus x, uh, y is 0. Then 42 minus 33 is 9. Now, x is number of cows we got as 9. And what would be the number of ducks? Now, we will substitute here. x is 9 is equal to 33 or y will be 33 minus 9 which is equal to 24. So, we got the number of ducks also that is 24. Now, what is to be found? The ratio of cows to ducks that is cows is 9, ducks is 24. 9 is to 24. When we sim simplify this, we get 3 is to 8. So, answer is option B, 3 by 8. This is today's homework question. Find out the wrong number in the given sequence 22, 33, 66, 99, 121, 279, 594. So, comment your answer below. Thanks for watching.